I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really that money. That money. <clears throat> Jordan, thank you for the membership as well. Joining the channel. Thank you, thank you. Guys, you know the deal when it comes to my other channels outside of DSP Gaming. Essentially, I don't really make much on these channels because they don't have a lot of viewership. Um, this channel particularly <clears throat> is mostly for posterity purposes to get my older playthroughs up on the internet somewhere. For example, Red Dead Redemption was not on the internet anywhere. It's finally up. Uh, Final Fantasy 13 is about to conclude. And get this, listen to this. Exactly 13 years after the original playthrough was uploaded, LA Noir begins this week on May 17th, as long as we don't run into any issues. And it's exactly going to be posted 13 years to the day that the game came out. The exact day, May 17th, was when I put up my first playthrough video of it on YouTube. And now, here we are. I'm going to be putting up the playthrough 13 years later. How cool is that? <laughs> anyway, like I said, the, the purpose of this channel is posterity purposes. Get those videos up so people can watch them in the future because they don't exist anywhere else. Right now, the Fallout 3 playthrough is finally watchable in, in, in a, a manner that makes sense. You can actually watch it in widescreen, in HD, with audio that's not all effed up because of music and with proper titles and stuff. This is excellent that we're getting these archived content on the internet, okay? But this doesn't make a lot of money at all. I mean, I'm not even kidding. I keep telling you guys, it's like a dollar a day that I make on ad revenue. Really, this channel makes its uh, makes some revenue on memberships and your support during these streams. So, by all means, if you've liked these throwback projects, if you've enjoyed the six weeks of Walking Dead, the six weeks of Heavy Rain, the other stuff that we've done, like, you know, Bully or uh, Dark Souls or Red Dead, please support the channel tonight. Anything is appreciated. Super Chats, Super stickers, uh, you know, memberships, gifted memberships, and tips, okay? Thank you to anyone who contributes in some way tonight. Appreciate that very much. How are you all? Haseo, good evening. So thank you, Jordan. Also, the Beef Pounder became a member tonight as well. Thank you to the Beef Pounder for that. I appreciate that. Are the pop-ups working? Did they pop up for those memberships? The reason I ask is because um, everything had to be refreshed. And I think I got it working, but I just want to be sure that it's working. Like tips, I had to totally do a whole new screen for it. They 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 reprogrammed the whole service. <laughs> they really did. So now for me to get an animation, I had to redo all the text and everything. I'm like, ugh. But I think I think it's working now. I guess we'll see. When someone tips, I'll test it. Ah. Uh. So, what's up, everyone? Uh, Lilica, I don't know. It depends on what you're talking about. There's some legit gifted memberships, and there's troll gifted memberships. The funny part is, I'll just say this up front, the troll gifted memberships haven't affected anything. You know, a few months ago, it was like, oh, okay, I thought maybe this would, like, like threaten everything. But in reality, what happened is once I started playing more variety of games, I stopped playing all those RPGs. People came back, they supported the channels. It doesn't matter that I have a bunch of fake gifted memberships that I don't get paid for. People are still supporting anyway. So those fake gifted memberships don't affect anything, but these idiots keep doing them anyway as if they do. They're just moronic. <laughs> it's just so fucking stupid. <clears throat> Thank you to Thorax the Plumber, who just did a super chat, says, It's a shame L.A. Noir doesn't get a sequel yet. Come on, Rockstar. Oh, it'll never will. Right after L.A. Noir came out, didn't you hear that the, the whole studio shut down? That whole portion of the studio that made the game uh, closed. And so they would probably never make a sequel. It was kind of a one-off uh, experiment for them, I guess you could call it. And uh, and then after that, you know, they had issues and that was it. So, so thank you to Thorax the Plumber.
Now all they do is make GTA Online. And eventually they'll probably make GTA 6, but who knows how long out that is, right? Slayer, how you doing? Three months as a member. He says, I'm here for the stream. Good to have you here, Slayer. Thank you for helping me out tonight with the, the moderation of the stream. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, by the way, there was a $2 tip during the break. So for those of you who watched my podcast this morning, ginormous different topic on that podcast. There's a new game called Marvel Rivals that's currently out in beta. And basically they've been called out for having an insanely crazy term in their contract to play this alpha that you have to be positive about the game and cannot say a negative criticism about it. It actually says it in writing. And... The thing is, this has always been an unwritten rule of people who get early access to games before. This is the first time that a game company has actually had the balls to put it in their contract. So a lot of people were calling this out on the internet. Well, guess what? The, the, the game dev NetEase now has says, oh, oh, that was a, a, a mistake, a misunderstanding. We're removing that from the contract now. And it's just hilarious because no, there's no way it could have been a mistake or misunderstanding. You outright wrote it in that way to word it that way on purpose how could you accidentally get that clause into the contract it wasn't even like a statement there were three sections of the contract all about it so they're such liars and they're only claiming to remove it because they don't want negative press but at the same time it's just so clear cut that it's an unwritten rule that if you get early access to any game you're not supposed to criticize it you're just supposed to be positive about it Anyway, so thank you for that. That was an anonymous $2 tip. They said, Netties, the studio developing Marvel Rivals, did a 180. They've made a public statement today apologizing for the inappropriate and misleading terms in their playtest contract already within 24 hours of even releasing it. So there you go. Uh, Jordan has given a, gifted another membership. That one went to Dark Souls Master. Congrats, Dark Souls Master. Thank you, Jordan. And Sarah, just two months as a member, re-upping the membership and says, watching Clayton and Lynch 2 play through good times. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, man, that playthrough was atrociously bad. Those were the days when I would play every new game just to have content because back then there weren't the, as many new games as today, that's for sure. So I would play the awful ones, and man, that was one of the worst ones I ever played. That game was so bad. <laughs> uh, no, I never heard of a game called Gory Cuddly Carnage, unless you're talking about that cat game that we, we looked at on the React Show a couple weeks ago that was atrociously bad. It did not look good at all. Maybe that's the one you're talking about. But I consider playing the other Walking Dead games. I've played them all. If you mean reacting to the other Walking Dead games, yes, but not now. There's no way. Just like I don't want to do um, the expansion to Heavy Rain. What is it? A taxidermist now? Because we just did Heavy Rain. I don't want to do other Walking Dead. I mean, that's stuff for the future. That stuff down the road, you want to do cool retro reacts to that. But we've done enough of this. I, I definitely want to get into something different, something that's not narrative-based for our next project because we've done too much narrative-based stuff now for like over three months, right? we got to do something different. Mr. AG107 with a super chat. He says, got to rewatch God of War 3. It is playthrough comedy gold. There you go. I remember God of War 3, actually. Indeed, I do. In fact, you just want to set up the poll now before we start, or should we wait till the end? Would you guys prefer if we set up